Hey everyone, it's Meg and today we're going to react to, I think it's the music video for Let You Down from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, the anime. If you're new here, I recently watched through the entire anime for the first time, obviously. I love the game. I loved the anime. And one of you recommended that I watch and react to this. And I assume it's a music video. It could just be the song in full. I have the video up, we'll see. So I'm going into this completely blind. I have not listened to the song in full at the credits, at the end credits. So I could potentially be listening to the entire thing for the first time today. But I'm so happy you're here. And if you haven't checked out any of the other playthroughs or reactions, be sure to check them out. Let's go ahead and watch. I hope I don't cry. I'm not ready to cry. CD Project Red, I love you. Music video. No. No. This is a new character. Before David. Feel the rhythm of the streets. Neon lights and neon dreams. Bloody face, they feel no pain. When there's so much more to gain. Hunting season, if you will Tell me where'd you'd rather be I can hardly <laughs> see the moon But we'll get there pretty soon Trying so nice to outfit. ease you out of the misery Hold on to your wishes if you can't hold on to me Forgive me for letting you down Forgive me for letting you down again I guess I'm not strong enough Right now She fought for our country Oh my gosh. 
Come on. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Guys. Why they gotta do me like that? <laughs> oh my god. Just like literally, how long was that? Five minutes? They just gave us a new edge runner, a new character who wasn't in the anime. I love her. And she definitely died a hero. And I love that because y'all told me that there probably won't be a season two. So I like that they're exploring other characters and stuff through music videos because it's, it's sad to me that there won't be a season two. I love their characters. Like Sasha was her name, right? She felt very real to me. I loved her heart earrings. I loved her color scheme. I loved her bubble gum. I loved the pink. Um, her obvious love for her sister, right? It was her sibling, I would assume. And what it feels like to love someone with an addiction and then to know that that medicine was supposed to be taken off the market <laughs> and it messes with your brain. Like there's just so many real world connections and that's what I really like about Cyberpunk and is specifically what I've been exposed to with CD Projekt Red. Cyberpunk 2077, which is, it, it feels like we're already there. Um, you hear about how high the prices are for insulin and then the epidemic, the opioid epidemic. While it seemed like that medication would probably be stronger and, you know, seemed more intense. That's just what I like about Cyberpunk. I like that it shows what we're dealing with right now, but then it exaggerates it. In some cases, it doesn't even exaggerate it, you know? And then she was a veteran. And it's like, how do we treat our, our vets? Not very well. At least I can speak for America. But to show a hero who also is very different from David, she was clearly a kid. Maine was calling her a kid, young, and she knew she was going to die. She knew she was going to die in a heroic way and she did and to see Maine's face at the end we also get more of a context into like just how like another person they watched come and go someone they got close to like it started off with them in in the bar hanging out and Rebecca was there and how many kids has Maine kept close and sheltered and just watched them pass like of course he he entered cyber psychosis. Of course, that happened to him. I mean, it would happen to me if these younger people I was mentoring kept dying like that. Oh, my gosh. And she did a good thing. She tipped the news. And who knows if that will actually work. And it sucks so much that these kids and people like Johnny and, and Alt and David and now Sasha, like, they have to sacrifice themselves in order to like get anything done and to expose the truth with corporate corporations and then big pharma you know like i i'm definitely interested in more big pharma stuff with with cyberpunk i got a little taste of it and i'm like ooh, that'd be so cool to explore but you know they have the expansions for the games like maybe sequels so I can tell they love this world so much and they're not giving up on it, which when the game was released, <laughs> they had every reason to give up. Like, for example, the first thing that comes off to my head is Andromeda and Bioware and how they kind of just like gave up on Andromeda. But you can tell these devs really believe in the world that they built and they're not letting it go. And I just want to rewatch that music. It was a music video. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want to make a Sasha build. I'm sure that they exist somewhere. Anyways, thank you so much for watching that with me. Let me know if I missed anything or things that you picked up on or how you can relate. I know this hit pretty close to home. So, yeah, just let me know. Thank you for being vulnerable with me. And thank you for recommending it because that was... That was beautiful. The song itself, too, is just beautiful from start to finish. It's different hearing it without the context of the end credits. So I'm definitely going to give it a listen on Spotify after this. But I love you all so much and I will see you for the next reaction. I know that we have some more music videos to get through. So, yeah, 
I love you all so much. Bye.